Welcome everyone. My name is Kumar Krishnan. I'm one of the interventional endoscopists at the Massachusetts General Hospital Division of Gastroenterology. I'm also an assistant professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School, along with my co-director, Dr. Charu Paranjapay. It's a tremendous honor to welcome everyone to the first annual Minimally Invasive and Novel Therapeutics in Poor Gut Disease course. This is really a unique course and the first of its kind through HMS, where we are mer uh, merging GI and surgery <clears throat> in one course, uh, all through the diagnostic and therapeutics of poor gut disease. Um, in addition to didactics and uh, some challenging sessions, I think we'll have some very lively, though friendly debates on how to manage difficult poor gut disease. Uh, and we will also uh, be having some uh, additional challenging cases in surgery as well. Uh, today, we are also gonna have an APP course uh, that will be run by truly the, the brains behind this whole course, uh, Alex Malpi and Priyanka Wagmeray, who we can't thank enough for putting together this event. I would like to thank everybody who signed up for our hands-on live event, as well as our uh, sponsors who helped put together this live event. However, Due to new COVID restrictions, we are unable to do the live hands-on portion of this course, but we suspect that there will be a very, very robust hands-on training portion at Mint 2022, so stay tuned for that. I would like to thank our industry partners who provided us with unrestricted educational grants uh, and helped us put this uh, program together. I also want to thank our exhibitors, who uh, I would encourage you to visit their exhibit booths uh, during the allotted time uh, and breaks. And just a few housekeeping items. Um, I know that at this point, probably we are all quite comfortable with uh, web-based curriculums and uh, Zoom meetings, but I do wanna point out a few things uh, just so that everybody is aware. Um, for any of you who are having technical issues uh, related uh, to either not being able to log on, uh, issues with your video or audio, um, if we can go to the, um, uh, to the actual event here, uh, there is a, a little green button here on the bottom left, and this green button um, is the one that I want you guys to use to reach out to our partners at CSAB who are uh, live and willing to help you uh, with any of those issues. You can also go to resources uh, and email them as well. Um, for those of you who are eligible and interested in CME credits, um, if you go to the resource section, you will find uh, some information on obtaining uh, CME credits. You'll have to fill out a survey at the end of the program uh, uh, to be eligible for the CME credits. Um, and with that, I will hand it over to my co-course director, Dr. Charu Pranjpe, who also has a few uh, messages for, for our uh, participants. Thank you, Kumar. Um... Welcome to the MINT course uh, 2021. I'm Charu Paranzape. I'm one of the surgeons. I do minimally invasive and laparoscopic robotic surgery and one of the directors of our heartburn center at Newton Walsley. MINT is a unique name, isn't it? It's a, it's a unique name, but more than the unique name, it's a unique platform. And it's a platform that brings together surgeons, gastroenterologists like Kumar, dietitians, advanced practice providers uh, like Alex and Priyanka and many others who are here today, and also nurses. And so for many reasons, this is a very unique platform. First of all, it brings all the great faculty from different Harvard hospitals together. We are very proud of the quality and the content this platform and the conference will provide, and we're appreciative of all our faculty who you will see today and throughout this three-day course. And it's a truly multidisciplinary conference together. And the reason that's important is one of the key things that is different is that we typically practice within the silo of our specialty. I'm a surgeon. I will typically just uh, go to conferences uh, in surgery, and we learn like that too. There are only few or handful of conferences which are actually multidisciplinary. 
So this platform will break the silos of our education and how we learn it together as well. It's based on multiple themes that you will see together uh, in different sessions. And it brings the viewpoints from different specialties in each session together. And not only it gives you clinical information of how to uh, handle that particular diagnosis in forget disease, but also we are bringing forward the aspect of system uh, healthcare delivery. And that's why the Saturday sessions are uh, gonna be very uh, unique in that way. We bring the unique field of AI and innovation uh, on Saturday uh, as we treat forget diseases. And you will get to hear two fantastic keynote speakers to that effect. Again, a unique uh, specialty of our uh, platform, one from GI and one from surgery. And you will see uh, Dr. Brian Duncan, as well as Dr. Kirillis giving pearls of wisdom as you uh, go through the conference. Another quite unique feature of this Mint Forget uh, course is its outreach. The internet has enabled us to reach patients and our colleagues all across the world. And this conference has already had multiple participants from different continents, not only just North America, but also Europe, uh, Africa, and also South Asia. I want to particularly welcome uh, all the surgeons from the abdominal wall reconstruction community surgeons of India who are here in huge numbers and we want to welcome and thank them. Uh, we also look forward to their feedback and your feedback as we grow this mint conference and make it better every year. Kumar already mentioned that we have a special session uh, for the advanced practice providers. Uh, but here again, all the multidisciplinary team that we just talked about comes together and helps us to learn the disease aspect in multiple different ways. So I think you will enjoy that too. Lastly, uh, to modify um, the old saying, it takes a village to build a conference. And we want to thank you, all the entities and uh, individuals that Kumar had already mentioned, but also our uh, chairs from Mass General, Dr. Lulumo, the chair from Anita uh, Walsley, Dr. Parangi, the incredible Alex Malby and Priyanka Wagmari, who have been sort of the backbone of this course, all our faculty that's here today, and will, you will see for throughout the course, and most importantly, all of you because I think from, from your feedback and your inputs, we can make this conference better every year. So without further delay, uh, I hand it over to Kumar, uh, my co-course director, who will introduce you to the next session and also to the next speaker. Thank you, Charu. Um, and well said, I think that we are so incredibly proud of this event that we put together. It's been a, a program that's taken about two years uh, of preparation uh, along with the planning committee. And we are uh, also very grateful for the truly world-class faculty uh, who, who we have pulled away from their other clinical and research duties to be able to uh, share with you their expertise and interest uh, in this field. Um, as Charu mentioned, we have a three-day program. Um, today's day is really gonna be focused on esophageal function uh, testing. Um, as well as treatments for achalasia. Uh, and at the end of the, uh, that portion, we will have our first keynote uh, speech by Dr. Peter Kirillis, uh, who is truly a world-class uh, expert on uh, the field of esophageal disease. Tomorrow we'll be focused on reflux management, uh, as well as uh, gastroparesis. And Charu mentioned our last day will be focused on practice and, uh, and innovation. Um, we have a few minutes left and um, uh, before our first speaker is uh, ready. And so I think what we will do is take a very small break, get everything ready, and we will be back uh, with our first speaker, Dr. Walter Chan, who comes to us from uh, Brigham and Women's Hospital, where he runs the Motility Center. <laughs> 